Keeping up with Kara. Go. You can watch all the time. New videos every Friday at 12 p.m. You know what to do. Go ahead and join Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Join Kara's crew. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy today's hair video. Thank you for your mercy, ayy. Yeah, I done fell down. I done messed up. But I'm still saved. Yeah, I'm blessed up. I know God good. He never left us. Ain't no condemnation. Shut the flesh up. They like where you be at. To see how I got these results, keep watching. This is my hair before I wash it. And it's definitely time to wash it, guys. I'm sure if you look very closely, you can see my scalp crying because it is in need of a good wash i've had this hairstyle for a week and before this hairstyle i had it in twists for three weeks so <laughs> yes we need to get this wash day started okay so to get this process started i am going to be using pre-shampoo this is the african pride pre-shampoo if you've seen my how to detangle natural hair video you know this stuff is popping okay this is the best product i've ever used on my hair and i do not say that lightly this is my favorite product of all time until i can find a product that's better that's number one <laughs> after washing my hair about forty thousand times it's still paint coming out <laughs> i wanted to show you guys the water i have washed it so many times i'm not gonna stop washing until the pink is completely out but yeah this is what it looks like when you want to put pink hair wax in your hair. Okay, here is what we all came for, for this detangler, okay? We're trying to see, is this detangler the best hair detangler for natural hair? So the pre-shampoo is the best pre-shampoo detangler, but this detangler is supposed to be like a leave-in conditioner type of detangler, so you don't have to wash it out, unlike with the pre-shampoo. So will I like this detangler as much as I like the African Pride pre-shampoo? Let's find out. Will it detangle my natural hair? Keep watching. By the way, if you wanted to know what conditioner I used that made my hair feel so light, it is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Treatment. This was my first time using it and I really like it. My hair feels so light, so soft. And we're going to see, did that conditioner help with detangling my hair? Maybe. Let's try combing my hair without the detangler first. So the comb is stuck. But it's okay. We're going to start from the bottom, comb slowly, take our time going up. And as you see, when we get up, it's a lot easier to comb through my hair. It's just the bottom, my ends. So it could be possible that I need to trim my ends. Maybe that's why. But yeah, I think it did help with the tangling my hair and combing it. I like that conditioner. I definitely would recommend you guys try it out. But let's get into this detangler by cream of nature this pure honey detangler first of all it's thick you see how thick that is i just take it and rub it in between my hands and it gets nice and smooth and then i'm going to apply it to my hair this product smells so 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 good i really like the way this product smells that's one of the reasons why i got it number one was because it has pure honey I like products with honey honey aloe and coconut oil coconut water those three are my ingredients that i look for when i'm looking for natural hair products those are the three aloe coconut water slash coconut oil and honey i think it works really well with my hair so yeah i like the way that it smells and i like the shine that it's giving to my hair now is it the best detangler i wouldn't say that but it is working nicely so far the best detangler i've used on my hair is aunt jackie's not on my watch that is a great detangler because you can keep it in your hair you don't have to wash it out like with the pre-shampoo so that still has the number one place when it comes to detanglers that you can keep in your hair but this detangler i would still use it i would recommend it if you want a product that is going to add shine to your hair it's going to smell really nice and it will help with the detangling process it's not going to be the best detangler but it definitely does help i recommend it and i am going to continue this process of adding detangler combing it and then braiding it 
If you just want to detangle your hair and not necessarily style it, this is good because it will help your hair to dry quickly and your hair will be out of your face while also being detangled. So I recommend this style to dry your hair if you don't want to put heat on your hair. Just comb it, add detangler, comb it again, braid it, and then keep going throughout your head and you're done. Or you can add some heat to your hair. These are the products I will be using for this second part. I will be using Tresemme Heat Protectant, Cream of Nature Pure Honey Curling Mousse, a blow dryer, of course, and a brush. So what you want to do is take your hair out of the braids, if you had it braided, or take it out of the sections. You want to finger detangle first. I already have the detangler in my hair, so I just have to brush it. And now, heat protectant time. So I'm going to spray that and i'll let you guys watch what i do next holding your hair with the brush helps to stretch the hair out and helps the drying process as well It's important that you do detangle because when you are taking the flexi rods out when you're taking the perm rods out when you're undoing your twists you don't want it to be super tangled you want the style to be as neat as possible as defined and beautiful as possible right so i definitely recommend detangling 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 okay so yes make sure you add your perm rod to the ends of your hair you're going to twist it first you're going to comb it again add some more mousse and then finally add your perm rod and twirl it up, twirl it up. And then you just keep going throughout your beautiful head of hair. <laughs> you keep going and going and going. It is a very, very, very long process. At least for me it is. But um, you don't have to add heat like I'm doing. You can leave it braided, let it dry over, you know, two days or sit under the dryer. You know, whatever you decide to do. You can leave it braided for a few days, let it air dry. You can sit under a dryer. You can apply heat like I'm doing. But the bottom line is you want your hair to be stretched. So that's why I did it in braids so that you can stretch it. So you want your hair to be stretched so that way when you apply the perm rods, you'll have some length to your perm rod set. Your nice twist out slash perm rod set style. Okay? Alrighty, time to repeat these steps throughout the rest of my hair. Pray for me, guys. When I start dancing, that tells you I really like the results so far. Take your time taking out your perm rods because you want to avoid as much frizz as possible. Having oil on your hands and taking your time taking the rods out will definitely avoid a lot of frizz, okay? So take those necessary steps. Don't rush. I know you wanna get the rods out, you wanna see the style, but definitely don't rush. Take your time, okay? It will be worth it in the end. And just like that, that was the last rod. I am so happy. We are almost at the finish line. We're almost there, guys. The rods are all out. Now we just have to separate the twists and the curls. Round of applause for these two products by King Maker, the Pure Honey line. Now let's get into separating these curls and these twists, okay? You wanna make sure your hands are still nice and oiled you want to take your time unraveling these twists okay we want to avoid frizz not bad but we want to avoid it if we can so make sure your hands are oiled take your time unraveling the twists and then you're going to finger coil if you need to to make sure you have that definition finger coil and just keep going separate where it wants to separate don't force the separation okay separate the strands where it desires to separate itself you'll know what i'm talking about when you do it okay <laughs> this part is a little repetitive a little time consuming but i'm telling you if you want that volume if you want that definition you don't want to skip this step okay take your time have a little dance break in between and then you get results like this well i get results like this your hair might be even more defined your hair might be even more voluminous but this is how my hair looks and let me tell you I like it. 
I like it a lot. My hair smells so good. And my I hair feels so soft. My hair looks so bouncy, so fluffy, so voluminous, so nice. I like it. And this is still day one here. Let's get into the rating. 3.8 for the detangler. It was good, but not the best. 4.8 for the curling mousse. It was amazing, but I want to see how it looks on a wash and go, and then it'll get a 5 if it comes out good. And finally, the intensive conditioning treatment, 4.8. It was so good. Thanks for watching. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Join Kara's crew. Don't forget to catch up on previous videos.